Hey guys, what's up? It's Chelsea and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I was hanging with you and then I realized I didn't think it was true. I was surprised when I found out I'd fallen for you. So, if you clicked on this video, you are one of four things. A loving and devoted supporter of me, an interior design student who wants to see if this is relatable, an aspiring interior design student, or lost. So the reason I'm making this video is because a lot of people have actually reached out to me over the last couple of months, especially since I've gotten into my senior year. And I get questions all the time like, what are you doing in school? What are you gonna do when you get out? Like, what are your plans? And so I just wanted to make this video so that people who are interested in what I do but don't wanna talk to me can kind of get a glimpse into it and figure out if it's something that you want to do and figure out if it's something that you're interested in. So just to start this off is I'm an interior design major which is space planning which is codes. Just know that if you are interested in this major you are signing up for a lot. So let's jump right in. So throughout this video I'm going to be posting examples of my work and that is because that is the only work that I have. I'm not saying that my work is the best or the worst or even remotely an example of what you should look to but it's literally the only examples that I have. <laughs> I go to Mississippi State University, which in my opinion, I made the best decision selecting this school. That's just how I feel. But like, I feel like everyone's also biased of the program or the school that they went to. But me personally, I'm really happy with the decision that I made and where I'm at. So interior design is a four year program and there's really no way around that except for one and I'll get to that later and your classification is really dependent on your studio that you're in and so there's ID graphic studio one two three four five and six there's certain classes and coursework that you have to get through but those studios are really the meat of your coursework and they're going to take the most time and they're going to be the most time. And because of that, I'm just going to kind of take each studio and pop up some of my work and kind of go over like what we learn and what we do. So your freshman year, you're going to take a lot of arts and you're going to take ID graphics. And in my opinion, ID graphics is a scare you class. Every single thing in ID graphics is done by hand. So you're hand drafting, you're hand lettering, you've got a T-square and you've got a ruler and you've got a pencil and you are drafting everything. And some of my work is going to pop up right there. You get a lot of different things to accomplish in a certain amount of time. My professor gave us assignments and we had to compile all of our hand drafting assignments into a binder. And I want to say that we did three binders. Um, that's pretty much what Addy Graphics is and that's what you're going to take your freshman year. Studio one is going to be the spring semester of your freshman year and that is the first time that for a studio class we used our computer and after you figure out how to use that computer that thing is your best friend that thing is your baby and if anything happens to it you're screwed we focused on residential and our entire semester really led up to us designing this super large super grand home for a client of our choice my camera died so anywho Whenever earlier I was talking about that there's one exception that you can make to the four year program, this is that exception. So what I did so that I could go ahead and speed along and graduate in five years versus six years because I was really far behind because I switched my major my sophomore year of college is I did is I did what Mississippi State calls fast tracking and that is when you take a studio class um, over the summer and so what you'll do is in May you'll take a, a sophomore level class You'll take studio two and then you'll take another sophomore level class and also during the summer you will go through portfolio review and portfolio review is all of your design based classes so that's going to be design one drawing one studio one id graphics um autocad which is a software freshman level class you're going to put all of those into a file you're going to submit that file online to a panel of judges who are then going to tell you whether or not you can proceed on into the major and if you fail portfolio review you can wait a year to submit and try again or you can change your major so i thank god passed portfolio review the first time that i submitted and so after my summer classes i went straight into my junior year another option is that you can just take studio two during your sophomore year and submit the following summer and I honestly think that that's a lot better of an option so if you are a true freshman and you are starting your first year of college as an interior design student I would just go ahead and do all four years it's less stressful on you it gives you more time to perfect your portfolio and there's just no reason to rush 
So during Studio 2, my experience was a little bit different because like I said, I took it as a summer class, which is one month versus a whole semester. So I cannot super attribute what everyone else's experience will be like or what they were like, but our main focus was our one big project, which was a literacy center that we did using SketchUp. So I submitted all these things to portfolio review and I passed and so I went into my junior year and started Studio 3. During Studio 3 is the first time that we really got to settle into a commercial project. And I say that because Studio 2 for me was super rough and very like get it done, get it done because we were in a summer class. So Studio 3 was my first time to really dive into a commercial project. <laughs> so in Studio 3 we did a retail project where we hand rendered everything. I'm so sorry to say that I'm not going to be popping up a picture of my retail project because I kid you not when I say that is the worst project that I've ever turned in. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not. But it's totally okay, we made it through and the next project that we did is a restaurant project and that was a team project and that was really fun and I really, really enjoyed that project. So after Studio 3, you're gonna move into Studio 4, which to me personally has been my favorite studio so far. Studio 4 is really when it got put into perspective for us Budgeting, the cost of furniture, specifying furniture, how detailed you have to be, space planning. It, we've been learning these things the entire time, but in Studio 4 is when we were told to apply them. In Studio 4, the first project that we did was a group project and it was a medical project. And so we did a pediatric clinic. And while that wasn't my favorite project that I've ever done, I had really cool team members. So in Studio 4, we also did a corporate project where we designed a 36,000 square foot office on the 10th and 11th floor of a building. The corporate project is where we first really kind of mend together like exactly how to put all this programming into work. It was more of that technical aspect. But I think the corporate project's capacity and it's like, size and how large it was was something new and different for me and that's honestly one of the most proud I've ever been when finishing a project. So after Studio 4 you're moving into your senior year with Studio 5. So Studio 5 was probably the most intense semester of my life. You start the year with a project that you have two and a half weeks to do and you're paired with a group of construction building science majors, architects, graphic designers, and interior designers. And so you're all working together to create one project. And it was really fun, it was really different, and it was really exciting. However, it was literally so insane. Moving from that group project, we go into a very large scale educational type project where we had to do two floors for a higher education. And in this project, I think we really focused on concept and we really focused on the needs of the client. And now, final project in Studio 5 was a hospitality project. And this is by far my favorite project that we've ever done and my favorite project that I've ever produced. I had a team member of three other people and let me just say they all rocked. But it was a super huge amount of work. And during this project we had to do a hotel and within that hotel we had to design the spa, the lobby bar, the restaurant, the lobby itself, the guest rooms. We had to do a maquette of the guest rooms. We had to do a promotional video. We had to do a 3D model. So I am currently in Studio 6 and so I can't really give you a ton of information about that yet because it is literally the third day of class. So basically, what I kind of wanted to get across in this video is to give you an overview of what my coursework has been like so that you can see and really understand if you're interested. In this did not even begin to cover half of what I've done since I started this major. But that is all that I have for you guys this week. You can follow all of my social medias down below and I'll see you guys next time.